All right. How you doing there? Uh, well, good. Dang it, it's been so long. Good morning, Danger Zone and Orspawn fans. How are you doing today? Yes, I've seen a glimmer of hope, a little twinkle of light at the end of the tunnel. I may eventually get over this annoying little health problem. And I started feeling better over the past couple of days. And so I was up to no good this week. Yes, I was. Well, lots of good, really. <laughs> not no good. I was up to not no good this week. I was doing wonderful things for DZVR. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> one of the easiest things that I did, and, and I'll show you, is I did a player dimension GUI. So now you can bring up a GUI and poof, change dimension. But that's not the biggest thing that I did. I messed with just the lighting threads, the particle threads, the caches. I messed with freaking everything, everything. Oh yeah, and uh, oh, I did, I, I, I did. And oh my God, the screen is 1920 by 1080 and it's so freaking tiny in my in my actual screen that I, how did I ever deal with this 1920 by 1080? Oh my God, that's so little. Um, so the first thing that I'd like to show you is here's our, here's our just little baseline um baseline uh baseline baseline of just sitting here doing nothing and in fact i should probably just go into here and hit uh what was it f12 there okay f12 and now it's doing nothing right and uh so this is our baseline this is pretty much zero this is uh the, the re just the recorder going on right nothing's happening so let's bring this little guy back up here get this little guy out of the way get out of the way up there okay you come back up here and yes okay now f12 again blink there we go all right and music oh my god get out of there all right so this brings up you'll notice this escape menu hey hey stop <laughs> i'm wondering if stop works all right, whatever, I stopped it. All right, um, the screen here is different. Uh, you'll notice it cleaned up a little bit. And I have a new graphics mode, right, which starts out as, as sad and then uh, goes to lame, good, great, and then ultra. So let me explain these. Sad, you don't get clouds, you don't get rain, you get zero lighting, and you get 30 frames per second. And you don't want to do that. That's if, you know, go to get you sad mode if you're on a, a little Intel Core 2 Duo and, and, and set your render distance down. And you should be able to play on, you know, a freaking Pentium, right, at, at 30 FPS in sad mode. And uh, if you finally have a little bit of CPU left over, click it to lame mode. And then at least you'll have, you know, a little bit of lighting and by lighting I mean in this flash time set 190 there we go and by lighting I mean that see that see the the lighting there you can you can shoot the shoot the arrows and uh, it's in lame mode so eventually maybe there we go lighting came out yeah hooray so it's a little slow and, and loading the blocks is a little slow and you know everything's a little slow. It tries to do uh, as little as it can, um, and and it's just you know it's it's playable if you're running around on the ground, and it'll work. Everything functions. You know it's just a little slow. It's okay, right? It, you'll live. <laughs> you're on a Pentium, my God. So um, and then we go to graphics a little bit higher, and and now you're in good mode, and and that's you know it, it's a lot better. And uh, so we'll watch this, watch some of the, watch some of the train get generated. Yeah, and, and that's a lot better, right? We could live with that. You know, good is not bad, right? There you go, see? See, see there, you know, you can shoot and, uh, and it lights up. But yeah, I completely redid the lighting. I hated the lighting. It was just, it wasn't working for me. So uh, this is good mode, right? So you got good graphics. And uh, this is great. This is great gameplay. And you're getting your 60 FPS 
and everybody's happy, right? Well, if you got an even nicer machine, right? Ding, hit great mode, right? And now you can go even faster. Things load quick. Zip, zip, come on. There we go. So pretty zippy, right? Not bad, not bad, right? And we can shoot and the lighting shows up almost instantly, right? Boom. No problem. And then, of course, you know me, right? I got, I got, uh, well, let me show you that. Let me show you here. So even in uh, great mode, here's your, uh, here's your CPU. And it's not that much different, right? We're using up probably uh, maybe half, uh, three quarters of a core total, right? It, it's not bad. And remember, we had, uh, well, let, let's just go back and hit F12. All right, so we hit F12, and here's our baseline again. Not pretty much nothing's going on. And, you know, it, this is DZ. It's written for... No. for <laughs> it's not written for me. <laughs> it's written to be as efficient as possible. So let's get back. F12. And of course, so, you know, I had all of those graphics mode. Uh, but what I did here was I added an ultra mode. And this is just, I set all the delays to like near zero, right? Boom, 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 boom. Do you see any loading delay? No, it's bang, wham, wham, wham. It's just there, right? Now watch this. Instant lighting. And you can see the instant lighting go all the way out. Look at that. So I can look over there at that mountainside and go bam and light it up. And it's just absolutely unreal, right? And watch this. Watch changing dimensions. Holy crap. Bang! Instantly on there, right? Look around. I'm looking around. <laughs> it's already fucking loaded. Excuse my, excuse my French. That's just okay. But now, what does that do, right? Oh, it, it, it doesn't put any. Uh, well, it does put a little bit of extra oomph on your graphics because I show things so far away. You've got triple the render distance now. You see all the little things. Can you see the little things out there? Now, let's see what time is set, 30. You can see all the, look at the, you can see the freaking butterfly out there. There's some things crawling around the ground over there. They're so small, I don't even know what it is. I can't even see them. What is that? The rat. All right, you can see things from a gazillion miles away in ultra mode, right? You just, it, and look at how fast the terrain lets, right? Absolutely insane. Dang it, stop. Stop. Why does stop not work? Maybe, do I have those backwards? I'm going to have to check that. So what does that do to our CPU? Well, you need at least six cores, okay? Because one, two, uh, three, well, oh, we're not doing bad in this dimension. Um... I dedicate four cores to the lightning threads and just hammer it, right? And then the blocks go faster, the generation goes faster, the block ticker goes crazy and, and updates more blocks in a bigger distance. The lighting is actually bigger and, and everything gets just accelerated and, and bigger. And so you need at least four cores for uh, great mode and, and eight cores really for uh, some of the dimensions you can handle with six cores and I'll show you. Uh, but for most dimensions you should be able to handle six cores but to handle all the dimensions correctly you need eight cores to get away with ultra mode. It doesn't change a lot in the graphics. Um, it, I'll, I'll show you here. So there's my uh, there's my 2080 and, and it's just you know it's still cold for all practical purposes and it hovers anywhere from you know 40 percent down to 10 percent i don't know what it's doing so it's not consistent so let me just show you some some cool stuff here so now you hit semicolon and i can just instantly bang i'm i'm, I'm there in a new dimension 
and I'm in ultra mode, right? So bang, there's my dimension. No waiting. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Lighting, no waiting, right? Just unreal. I, I wanted to show you what Danger Zone did when I let it rip and just went full speed. And this is in Java, people. So, you know, if I actually wrote this in a, in a real language, right? <laughs> it go ten times faster, <laughs> at least. Java's not that fast. So, um, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Have you ever seen the dimension load that fast? No, I just let it rip, right? <laughs> Instead of 10, 20, 30 millisecond delays to, you know, to, to help it out and smooth things out and, and I just bang on those cores and say, you know what? Go for it. All out. Full throttle. And you can see, you know, we're chewing up some CPU in the, in the process and uh, Windows is starting to, to move threads out to the, to the other cores and try and try to, these are threads, they don't, you know, only the first top, the, the top 16 are actual real cores. So um, Windows will move them around a little bit when they get hot. And let's see, where's the mining dimension here? I want to see the mining dimension. Where is the mining, there's the mining dimension. Let me show you this. This gets a little rough here because um, because there's a lot of stuff underground. And when there's a lot of stuff underground, I'll show you here. When there's a lot of stuff underground, you get a lot of things that demand attention from the lighting threads. And you can see on the CPU zero there, <laughs> right? And then CPU six right <laughs> cpu 8 yeah you see the lighting goes crazy because there's so much more to do and that that's the that's just this is one of those dimensions you're going to wish you had eight cores to be in ultra mode <laughs> right you got you need at least eight cores because I, I chew up four i just say you know what i got four lighting threads i'm going to let them rip those four cores are just dead might as well just not not bother yeah, but as you can see on mine, you know, I, I leave just a, a, a millisecond every once in a while. But uh, yeah, oh, uh, uh, let me show you. And if you're hard up, good news though, if you are absolutely hard up and you want to play Danger Zone and you got yourself a little Pentium and you can't figure out what to do, then set it down into, into uh, the, just immediately get into your, get in the escape, set it down or, or edit it. And, and set it down to sad mode, right? Let's go to sad mode and then we'll, uh, so you can go to next and I wanna to get to the danger dimension and I'll show you something cool here. Oh yeah, we set it to sad mode. <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's fix this. So um, I wanna show you Actually, let's do this first. Let's pull this guy down. We're in sad mode, and you can see the CPU usage has gone down. This is just the, the uh, encoder, and this is the encoder. Um, you can see the CPU usage has just dropped like a rock, right? This, this uh, dimension uses very little processing power. does almost nothing. And uh, so let me show you, because I go into ultra mode, Nothing really changes. There's a little bit more lighting there on CPU zero, maybe a little bit more here and there, but you can see that if you really want to check out ultra mode, head to the danger zone uh, or the, the danger dimension, and you can try it out there even on, you know, probably a little four core processor and handle uh, the danger dimension on ultra mode. And then you can see what I'm talking about here. You can just see for miles, right, all of these things. And you better hope you have a fast disk. <laughs> and so if you got a slow spinny disk, this might not load as fast, all right? I got those newfangled NVMe drives. Everything loads instantly. I don't see anything interesting here. Oh my God, I'm so far up. Ooh. Huh. 
Go away. All right, come here. Come on. Oh, hit him with the annihilator. What is that thing? Vaporizer plus a bazillion, right? <laughs> gotta see uh oh oh crap yeah let's do uh achievement end of time oh no that's not where i want to go I, i'm so used to just uh going to doing things the hard way mashup that's what we want get to the mashup dimension and we got frogs and dimensions and what the what the heck is going on over there holy cow look at all those things What is there all this water doing here? Wait, that's not what I want to do. I want an F3. There we go. Oh, where am I at? Oh, I'm in a robot dimension here. Well. <laughs> I have wreaked a little bit of havoc here. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta get back down. What is my render distance? 12! Oh my god. No. I thought. I was wondering why it looked a little small. Dang it. 12. How the. Oh, that, that's better. Alright, alright. Now let's gotta wreak some havoc. Alright, ready? Let's go. Yeah. Oh, this is going to hurt. Boom. Render distance 12. What the heck? Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at all the little things you can see. There's just so much detail now. It's absolutely insane. Oh, yeah. Hear my CPU going crazy. Oh, let's show you. <laughs> nah! Come down here, you stupid thing. There you go. <laughs> you can see I got my four cores. <laughs> One, two, three, four, and, and some more because uh, we got the update threads and the render threads and yeah, <laughs> everything else going on it's just absolutely insane chilling everything up right so make sure you have one two three four five six make sure you have an eight core if you really want to go hog wild in uh in the new <laughs> in this new ultra graphics mode and it doesn't well <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> oh man all right so that's mostly what i did today um and i made it more playable on the low end more playable right lower 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 yes more playable on the lower end and more playable on the high end as well and just clean things up a little bit made it easier to adjust your graphics just no brainer up or down whichever way you want to go and then yeah and then uh, this is just cool right dragon's lair dimension boom Right. Where am I here? Holy cow. <laughs> Crystal. Crystal Dimension is another one that eats up all your CPU because there is so it's time set uh, to 10. Look at all of that lighting going on. All of those little bright spots are, are lighting see dark and light and dark and light that's all real-time lighting going on all of it getting eaten up <laughs> chewed on by the cpu so and here's our cpu map again <laughs> chewing chewing it up good yeah turn your computer into a heater in the winter 
Heck yeah. And I love the way you can just watch the errors. <laughs> watch the errors and where they hit. Boom! Right? And you can see down here, just the itty bittiest. Like, what the heck? That's a rotator down there. That itty bitty little thing. Way the heck down there. There it is, right? Can you see it now? Oh, jeez. This is just, yeah. So I'm going to put, uh, I'll, I'll put this out soon. And uh, I'm also uh, considering, I don't know when I'll do it. Um, I want to put this out as, uh, as a, a source build kit, right? Y'all have been suffering with the old DZ long enough. And I'm thinking about putting out uh, Danger Zone uh, DZ VR as source and uh, letting y'all uh, build build that and, and make your own mods for that too. Look at that. You get out of the game, the lighting threads quit. Boom. <laughs> so, yeah, how much memory do I have in there? It's only 32 gig of memory in this thing. Jeez. All right. Yeah, that's it. So that's what I've been doing, guys. Um, playing with the lighting threads and the dimension and particle updaters and all, all the other all the other things. And oh my God, I can't stand this little 1920 screen. That's it. That's all. Thank you for watching and being patient. Uh, keep your eyes out for uh, DZ VR. What are we on now? It looks like uh, 2.7. 2.7. When you see 2.7 come out, that's what you want, right? Oh, this was testing cog mode. <laughs> Eat all the CPUs that come in and out. Um, now it's ultra mode. Uh, yeah, 2.7 is what you want, and then you can give your CPU a good workout and uh, let it earn its keep, right? All right, thank you all for watching.